Hey, this is Jake. I'm a special guest on MacHeads 101. This will be my fourth Java tutorial, and today I'm going to be talking about conditional statements. What that is, is um, you give it a condition, and if the condition is true, it executes a certain block of code, and if it's false, it doesn't execute that block of code. So, the program we're going to be making here is you enter a price you paid for your new MacBook and it tells you it was a MacBook, a MacBook Air, or a MacBook Pro. So since we're going to be getting input here, first thing we're going to do is import java.util.scanner. Then I'm going to create that scanner object. Scanner, um, I'm just going to call scan equals new scanner system dot in alright so now I'm gonna make a prompt to ask them how much their new MacBook was so how much did you pay for your new MacBook question mark alright so now we're going to create a um, a double for the price. A double price equals scan dot next double empty parentheses. All right, so what that's going to do is it's going to ask them how much they paid for their new MacBook, and then whatever they entered will be stored in the double price. So we went over that in last tutorial. But now what we're going to do is get to the meat of this tutorial which is a conditional statement. The first one I'm going to be showing is if. So you type if, and then in the parentheses you put your condition, and these curly braces, you put what you want to execute if the condition is true. So let's say if price equals equals, and I'm going to show you a couple ways to compare, 999 system.out.out print ln macbook because that's how much it cost so what I did here let me explain the equals equals um, you see if um, if you use an equal sign just one equals it will assign price the value of 999 um, because equals will assign values equals equals is used in comparing so if I want to see if price is equal to 999, I use two equal signs. And I'll show you a couple more ways to compare right now. Exclamation point equals means not equal. So let's just say here, if it's not equal to 999, you did not buy a MacBook. Alright. So, another way is um, uh, less than greater than, less than, or equal to, greater than, or equal to. Okay, so, I'll just say here, MacBook. Alright, now the next thing is the else if statement, which is like, you make an if statement, and then it checks to see if it's true, and if that's not true, then it goes down to see if there's an else if statement, if the else if statement, it checks if that is true. So, else if, price is less than 999 system.out.println you did not buy a macbook frowny face because they should buy a mac so um the next thing i'm going to be talking about is the or so if I wanted to, I could do this and then say if what they paid was over 2500 they probably didn't buy a MacBook because that's the price of the most expensive MacBook Pro. Or instead of making two conditional statements, I can do this. I put two vertical bars, which is another word for or, essentially. So or price is greater than 2499 You not buy a MacBook. So what OR means essentially is execute this block of code if either conditions are true. 
And if I put and signs two, that means only execute this block of code if both conditions are true. So, or. Now, else if um, price equals equals 1499 or price equals equals um, 1799 you bought a MacBook Air now I'm gonna make one more else if and then I'm gonna talk about just the else statement and this is to see if they bought a MacBook Pro if price equals 1699 or price rice price equals or you can put as many ors and ands as you want actually price 2299 or price um, 1499 and then that print ln I want your MacBook Pro okay so now we have the else statement which is it goes down and checks, is this true? No. If this is true? No. Is this true? Is this true? Alright. If nothing else is, if none of these are true, what do you want to do if nothing's true? And that's what goes in the else block, and there's no condition, because, well, for obvious reasons. Um, System.out.println um, re enter your price. And this is probably if they meant to, um, they entered something like 998 or something by accident, like re-enter your price. So I'm just going to run this and show you what it does. How much did you pay for your new MacBook? I paid $999. Well, you bought a MacBook. How much did you pay for your new MacBook? Well, I paid $10. What? I didn't buy a MacBook, clearly, because it's only $10. So that's not how much it costs. Um, let's say I paid $2,299. Well, I want your MacBook Pro. Cool beans for you. Um, and let's just test the last one. I paid um, $1,500. Re-enter your price. Alright, so, yeah, that is conditional statements. And I will see you next time.